Okay. Right. And I'll okay, John. Here, shall I? Right. Thank yeah. you, Jasper. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody in uh, Baghdad. Good evening, uh, those of you who are in the UK. And if there's anyone else, anywhere else in the world, uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to you, wherever you might be. My name is John Bennett. I'm Jenny Brown. I, I think, John, you'll have to do because uh, Amal's yeah, going to run. Yeah, yeah. Do sorry. you want to stick? Do you want to give to your stick to your script, John? Yeah. 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 So, okay, well, good evening. Um, so, my name is John Bennett. جميعا سواء كنتم في جزء الكرة الأرضية الصباحي أو المسائي أهلا بكم من بغداد ومن بريطانيا وجميع البلدان. Um, I am an ambassador for uh, the Marsh Charitable Trust, uh, which means that I have come to know the Marsh Charitable Trust as a director of a charitable environmental organization. أنا سفير صندوق مارش الخيري وهذه هي صفتي الرسمية كمدير لهذا الصندوق. The Marsh Awards were founded in 1981 by Brian في عام 1981 من قبل السيد براين مارش وهو حامل للرتبة الإمبراطورية البريطانية. His aim was to create a sustainable way to give something back to society by supporting organizations and people who are making a difference. The Trust creates, a long -stand, creates long standing relationships with the organization it partners through the awards scheme. الصندوق ينشئ علاقات طويلة الأمد مع المنظمات التي يشاركها من خلال خطتها للجوائز. It gives around 80 different awards to individuals and groups from across the charity sector who make a difference to a cause they believe in. يقدم الصندوق حوالي 80 جائزة مختلفة للأفراد وجماعات من جميع أنحاء القطاع الخيري في العالم والذين يحققون خطى مؤثرة في قضية يؤمنون بها. The environment features strongly among the awards, but other activities include modern slavery and human traffic, trafficking, addiction, the built heritage, the arts, diplomacy, and social support. تتميز البيئة بقوة حضورها بين اهتمامات هذه الجوائز. ولكن الأنشطة الأخرى تشمل الرق الحديث والاتجار بالبشر والإدمان والمباني التراثية والفنون والدبلوماسية الدولية والدعم الاجتماعي. The recipients of the award, the awards, are not only receiving the recognition of their peers, but they're joining a diaspora, a family of other recipients across the sectors and across the world. لا يحصل الفائزون على تقدير أقرانهم فحسب ولكنهم ينضمون إلى مختلف التجمعات أو الأسر من الفائزين في مختلف المجالات حول أنحاء العالم. All environmentalists recognize the importance of the world's wetlands and we watched with horror the draining of the Iraqi marshes. جميع مناصري البيئة يعترفون بأهمية الأراضي الرطبة وأهميتها في العالم وراقبوا بفزع تجفيف الأهوار العراقية. So this year, the Marsh Marjan Award recognizes the great contribution made by Ahmed Saleh Nima over the last decade in protecting all biodiversity connected to Iraq's central marshes. وهذا فإن جائزة مارش مرجان لهذا العام تثمن المساهمة الكبيرة والمتميزة التي قدمها الأستاذ أحمد صالح نعمة من العراق على مدى العقد الماضي في حماية التنوع البيولوجي لأهوار العراق الوسطى. So, Ahmed, thank you for your efforts and thank you um, Amal for your effort, for your work in translating my words and I now hand you back to Jasper. Who will take over from here? 
نهنئك يا أستاذ أحمد على هذه الجهود وعلى ما وصلت إليه. Right, it's me. Thank you very much indeed, John. I will only speak briefly because we are here to listen to Ahmed translating to do. <laughs> my, name um, is Jasper, sorry, my name is Jasper Humphreys, and I'm Director of Programs at the Marjan Centre in the Department of War Studies in King's College University, London. اسمي هو جاسبر همفريز وانا مدير البرامج في مركز مرجان في قسم دراسات الحرب في جامعة كينغز كوليدج في لندن. The Marjan Center researches the connections between conflict and the environment. Okay. Uh, مركز مرجان يختص ببحث ببحث الروابط بين الصراعات والبيئة. Examples of our work are related to water wars, illegal wildlife trade, and of course, the climate, train, climate change crisis. The Marsh Marjan Award is given each year to a person or group who have done outstanding conservation work in countries which have a history of conflict. Over the years, the award has been given to people in DR Congo, Colombia, Armenia, South Sudan, Serbia, and other countries. Sorry, that's a lot. So I'm very happy to add Iraq and Ahmed to that list. Before I finish, I would like to thank the Marsh Foundation for their support over the years, which has been fantastic. وقبل أن أنهي حديثي أود أن أشكر مؤسسة مارش على دعمها على مر السنين والذي كان أكثر من رائع. And also to thank Ragad and Amal in Iraq for translating and facilitation tonight, and also a special thanks to Danny in the Department of War Studies for her technical help. وأود أيضا أن أشكر رغد وآمال في العراق على ترجمتها وتيسيرها الليلة وأيضا داني من قسم إدارة دراسات الحرب على إشرافها على الجانب التقني والفني هذه الليلة. Thank you. And now I invite Ahmed to talk. شكرا جزيلا. أحمد تفضل. شكرا جزيلا. أنا أنتهز الفرصة لأشكر الأخت آمال والأخت رغد والأخت زينب التي كانت تسبقهم بترجمة وانشغلت لأمور خاصة. Uh, I would like also to seize this opportunity to thank all those who are helping me tonight with the translation, رغد آمال and also زينب, but unfortunately she got caught up in other business. أهمية الجائزة بالنسبة لأحمد أشعر أنه من الجميل أن نستشعر أن هناك جهة في هذا الكوكب هي بعيدة كل البعد جغرافيا عنا ولكن تشعر بجهودنا وتشعر بما نقدم من مسيرة في اتجاه تصحيح المسار البيئي 
the importance of the award from my point of view, that it is an acknowledgement for the effort. It's nice to feel that someone on this planet that is really geographically remote from you, there is appreciation and evaluation for your efforts and acknowledgement encouraging us to go on saying it's the right direction. الاحساس باننا جميعا كيان واحد في هذه الارض نتشارك الهموم ونشجع بعضنا بعض and also the sense that we are all a one entity on this earth sharing our concerns and encouraging each other وانا اتطلع الان وبشغف كبير الفرحه في عيون ابنائي وهم يشعرون بالزهو لتكريم اباهم سيما أن التكريم من جهة رصينة ومحترمة ومتخصصة. I look forward now to see the gleam in my children's eyes as they feel the joy to honor their father, especially that the award is granted by a trustworthy, respectful, and a specialized size. وأنا أسعى وبجد ومنذ سنوات لبناء اسم يكون رافد ومساعد لغيري في الدفاع عن البيئة. وهذه الجائزة تساعدني كثيرا على الجانب المعنوي لتحقيق ذلك. I've been trying very hard and for years now to build the name that can be an aid and support to others working in the same field, conservation of the environment, and this award will help me a lot in doing so. أود أن أذكر نبذة صغيرة عن نفسي أتحدث عن أحمد. I would like to say something, a little thing about Ahmed. ولادتي في الجنوب الشرقي للعراق في محافظة ميسان. I was born in the southeastern part of Iraq in Misan. حيث الأنهار الكثيرة جدا وغابات النخيل وتحديدا في دور تابعة لمعمل السكر التي كانت تحيطها آلاف الدونامات من غابات قصب السكر. Uh, I was the home where I lived, uh, witnessed or was overseeing many rivers and palm forests, and especially the houses were uh, on the grounds that covered uh, thousands of donums of cane sugar plants. والتي كانت تضم نظاما بيولوجيا متفردا وتحتوي على تنوع أحيائي كبير ومختلف عن بقية مناطق العراق. It had a very unique biodiversity and also environmental system or ecosystem. يعني غالبا ما كان يدفشن التنوع الطبغرافي لمدينتي لأن نفس المدينة تحتوي على سلسلة جبال حمرين وتضم صحراء كبيرة وتضم ثمانية أنهار خمسة منها داخلية وثلاثة ثلاثة خارجة عبر الحدود. وتضم عشرات الالاف من بساتين النخيل. I was struck by the topographical diversity of my city. The city itself embraced one end of the Himrin Mountains and a large desert at the same time, with eight rivers flowing, five from internal sources, five internal rivers, and three others coming from outside the borders. It also had tens of thousands of palm groves. وتضم مسطح مائي من الأهوار يصل إلى 2000 كيلو متر مربع وهذا رقم كبير جدا بالنسبة للمساحات المائية. And also it, it covers a water surface of the marshes that sums up to about 2000 square kilometers. And this is a very huge surface if you might, if you compare it with other surfaces of wetlands. هذه المساحات تضم ايضا غابات القصب الذي استخدمه السومريون الاوائل في بيوت في بناء بيوتهم ولا يزال سكان الاهوار الى اليوم يبنون بيوتهم بنفس الطريقه و... وتضم ايضا الخزين النفط الاول في العراق. It covers the largest cane forest used by the early Sumerians to build their homes and you can see that they until today, they build their homes in the same conventional way. It comprises also the first oil reservoir in Iraq. وتضم أكبر حقول الحصى الداخل في عملية البناء. 
It also contains the largest gravel fields in construction that, that is used in constructions and building. وأكبر ثروة سمكية أيضا في جنوب العراق هي في ميسان. And the largest fish wealth in the country also is in Misan. منذ طفولتي وأنا أنظر لخارطة العراق وأجمع مساحات المائية وأقارن بينها وبين مساحات الدول. فكان يروق لي جدا المقارنة بين مساحة الماء في مدينتي وبين بعض الدول التي هي أصغر من مساحة الأهوار في مدينة. Since my childhood, I have been looking at the map of Iraq and summing up the water areas on that map and comparing them to the areas of other countries. Sometimes the wetland in Iraq is even larger than some countries. طبعاً في طفولتي كان هذا الشعور شعور تحدي من باب إنه المساحة المائية أكبر من تلك البلدان. أما الآن فأنا أنظر كونها تنوع أحيائي جميل جداً وغني. At that time, when I was a child, I saw it like a big challenge that part of my uh, country as a wetland is even larger than whole countries. But now I see where it fits, that it is a great biodiversity and part of the bigger ecosystem. وكنت أراقب العبث الإنساني في والعبث في النظام البيولوجي في الجنوب من خلال المخلفات الصناعية وما يصنعه الإنسان في الطبيعة. Of course, throughout my life, I started to notice and also uh, observe how human hands started to manipulate and destroy this lovely biodiversity that we were enjoying once. Especially with the artificial waste from factories and also uh, the illegal hunting and poaching. أها الصيد بالصعق الكهربائي والسموم ومخلفات صناعية هائلة. Especially that they use the electric uh, electrocution for uh, uh, fishing and also uh, عفوا بعد شنو السموم اللي ذكرت حضرتك؟ والصعق الكهربائي. إي electrocution. الصيد. Yes. Yeah. كل هذا جعلني امام واجب اشعر كل هذا جعلني اشعر بوجوب بوجوب المدافعه وان يعني اجند نفسي واكون مدافع عن هذه الطبيعه. So this have repeatedly thought of a way to prevent fishermen from using this kind of fishing like using of electricity or the poison hunting. And I needed to find an economic alternative that preserved the environment and provide them with a living at the same time. كان والدي يمتلك مزرعة كبيرة وكان يعمل في مختبر البحوث الزراعية في معمل السكر. واستفدت الكثير من خبرته بهذا المجال. My father used to have a عفوا استاذ بس بس تأيدي لأن صوت مزرعة كبيرة مزرعة كبيرة he had yes he had a big plantation for cane sugar cane and he had people working on it on that plantation اها انا منذ عشر سنوات من عمري عشر سنوات وانا اعمل على توثيق يعني عفوا منذ عشر سنوات مضت وانا اعمل على توثيق الأهوار وقمت بتصوير ما يقارب 300 فيلم فيلم فيديو. Since 10 years I've been documenting uh, I've been documenting the marshes and what's happening exactly and the changes that are taking place in the marshes. نش... قمت بنشر الكثير منها على قناة اليوتيوب. I've recorded about 300 videos which were published on my YouTube channel and my uh, on my YouTube channel. بدأت بحملة تعريفية على الأهوار عن طريق إرسال دعوات للقنوات الفضائية والصحفيين وللمهتمين في الأكاديميات العلمية. And then I started a campaign to promote the marshes by sending invitations to satellite channels, foreign journalists photographers and documentary directors to contribute to raising the profile of Iraq's environment. 
فكرت كثيرا بكيفيه منع الصيادين من استخدام الصاعق الكهربائي والصيد وايجاد بدائل اقتصاديه تحافظ على البيئه وتوفر لهم المعيشه. I have always thought of a way to prevent those fishermen from using electrocution, poison hunting, and to find an economic alternative that preserves the environment and provide them with a living at the same time. لهذا قمت بتدريب 22 شخص من أبناء الأهوار على امتحان مهنة السياحة وترك وترك مهنة الصيد. So I trained 22 marsh people on tourism in order to quit the fishing industry. وأيضا بحثت عن الشركات السياحية العاملة في العراق ودعوتهم إلى بيتي وأخذتهم في سفرة مجانية إلى الأهوار لتعريفهم بهذا الجانب السياحي. And then before that, I started looking for tourist companies in the country, even though they didn't deal with tourism in the marshes. So I just suggested they make trips to the marshes. I invited them to my home and I took them on a free tour. كنت أخذهم بالزورق مسافة 34 كيلومتر وأقدم لهم وجبة الطعام في داخل الأهوار على الجزيرة من القصر. So uh, I took them on a trip in the canoe for about 34 kilometers. And uh, of course, the, I, I tried to make them enjoy their lunch on um, uh, a reed setting or a reed mat floating on, in the marshes, a reed platform. كنت اوثق سفرتهم السياحيه بالموبايل والكاميرا والطائره الدرون واهديهم قرص مدمج فيه كل صور السفره. I always used to uh, document their trip through my mobile phone or the camera or even the drone camera and then uh, make a CD so that they can have it uh, for themselves and this CD was always given away to those tourists. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think, have we lost? Hello? Hello? Ahmed, we've lost Ahmed. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, can, uh, Ragad, can you contact Ahmed? Hello? Uh, maybe. Hello? No. Ragad? Yes, Jasper, I'm contacting him now. Oh, thank you. Right. Right. Hello. Uh, no. Right. No. Oh, well. Well, I think. While we wait for Ahmed, is he back? Is he, is he, I can't see him. I can see that he has a signal issue. He, there is no signal at, on his phone. Oh, right. Okay. Well, we'll give it a, we'll give it another minute and then maybe we have to say, you know, goodbye to Ahmed. I don't know. <laughs> so, so, so. And then we have to arrange another time to finish the, uh, the presentation, you know, but, um, for those people who are listening, I think it's been a fantastic insight to, um, sorry, uh, yes, I, I, you, sorry, we've got to try and say, Amal, could you just, just, just uh, translate to say, it's been a fantastic for people in Britain to hear about the situation in the marshes. أحب جاسبر أنه يترجم أنه كان من الرائع أنه الناس في بريطانيا تعرفوا على بعض النواحي الجمالية للأهوار العراقية. And I think that the the people in Britain could learn a lot about the the effort and the commitment of Ahmed. وأتصور أنه أيضا الناس في بريطانيا ممكن أن يتعلموا الكثير لإخلاص والتزام أحمد تجاه موضوعه. 
and it is fantastic to hear somebody so passionate about the environment in, in difficult situations. وايضا من الممتاز اننا نسمع اخيرا بوجود شخص يمتلك هذا الشغف بالحفاظ على بيئته وعلى هذه الخصيصه البيئيه في في ظروف استثنائيه وصعبه للغايه في بلده. And the world is talking about climate change a lot, but also we mustn't forget the biodiversity that is also has is suffering. الكثير يتكلمون حول العالم عن التغير المناخي وما يحصل من اثار التغير المناخي لكنهم في الكثير من الاحيان ايضا يغفلون اهميه التنوع الاحيائي الذي ايضا تضرر لهذا السبب اها از احمد هي از باك از از هي از نوت از هي توك اي كانت He's gone on mute. He's on. He's on the mute. No. I'm ready. Ah, here it is. Salam. So, uh, can can I continue? Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Please, Amal. I'm not sure Amal is on the phone. No, I'm not. Take your time. Thank you. اعتقد انقطعتهم انقطعتهم لا لا موجودين تفضل عين اه موجودين إيه. آه، آه، من من اهم الاهتمامات في الفتره الاخيره آه، اهتم اهتم الاهتمام بكلب الماء ماكسويل ما ذكرت مالك الباحثين نروح على مالك الماء عفوا من اهم one of the important points of my environmental career now is my interest in the soft for water the otter yeah otter yeah otter very good otter otter اسمه واسمه ماكسويل بالمنظمات البيئيه ماكسويل the maxwell species نسبة إلى العالم البريطاني الاسكتلندي جيفن ماكسويل. It is named after the scientist. Hello. It's the. Named after the scientist, the British scientist Maxwell. He's called Gavin Maxwell. Yeah. Yeah, Gavin Maxwell. هذا هذا كلب الماء كان منقرض من تسعينات القرن الماضي. It went extinct since the 90s. أنا يعني من بعد من بعد رجوعه ب ب بعادات قليلة جدا أيضا كان يمارس عليه الصيد من قبل الصيادين. And it returned very slowly and in very low numbers, but at the same time, it was suffering from overhunting and also they were always hunting this animal. كانوا يبيعون الفراء مالته إلى أوروبا لصنع المعاطف والجنط النسائية. So its fur was a good trade to Europe for making coats and also handbags and the like. قمت بشراء سبعة كلاب ماء من هذا النوع وإطلاق سراحة في الأهواء. So I started to buy about seven otters from those poachers, and then I released them to to the to their environment. I'm. I came to the museum to visit the museum in front of the museum to be in contact with the animal and to prevent the spread of the disease. I organized a protest in front of the provincial building, calling for the enactment of a law to prevent the hunting of these endangered animals. And I thought that one of the most important challenges in the environment is the issue of the water supply. And I also documented that the main challenge in the wetlands of Iraq is the uh, is the water challenge. Uh, 
كتبنا تقارير كثيرة جدا لمديرية الماء وللزراعة وللجهات المسؤولة في العراق We, we wrote a lot of uh, reports. We reported to the ministries that are uh, working, like the Ministry of Water Resources, the Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Health, Agriculture. كان حدث إدراج الأهوار على لائحة تراث العالمي في اليونسكو حدث مهم جدا بالنسبة لأحمد ولأصدقاء أحمد المهتمين بالشأن البيئي. So when the marshes were listed uh, on the UNESCO list, it, uh, the World, World Heritage List in 2016, I think, it was a big joy for Ahmed and his companions who were working with him. كان ذلك عام 2016. It was in 2016, yes. Uh, الجفاف حصلت عام 2017. The drought catastrophe happened in 2017. Next year. So we were in a constant relation and communication with the water directorates in the province so that we can keep the waters to the less, to the level that uh, the biodiversity stays alive. Uh, The marshes do not stand only for uh, the, this bi lovely biodiversity or what we have talking, we were talking about the ecosystem that is so balanced there. It is also a symbol for the Iraqi heritage, for mythology, for beauty throughout the years and decades. وثقت الكثير من العجائز والشيوخ الكبار بالسن وهم يقصون القصة So I also documented the lives of the people who were residing there, especially the elders who had a lot to say. They had a lot of stories. They recite poetry. حتى ملابسهم أزياءهم أشكالهم أصواتهم الأطعمة أدوات البيوت. Also their clothes, the way they dress, and uh, how they speak, and all those habits and traditions that, that they enjoy have been documented. يعني تعرضت لكثير من المشاكل أثناء عمل البيئي خلال هذه العشر سنوات. During those 10 years, I have uh, been facing a lot of opposing situations. It was not easy for me. During those 10 years, جزء من عتها معنوي وجزء من عتها مادي ومنها إنه أنا يعني أخذت جازة الأربع الأربع سنوات ب ب 25 بالمئة من الراتب فقط. Um, due to those challenges that were some of them because of funds, some of them were. like more moral on the moral side, uh, then I decided to take uh, the four year vacation that was granted by the government for the employees. And of course, the employee who takes this vacation receives only 25% of his salary. أتعرض الكثير من الانتقادات من بعض الأصدقاء وربما حتى الأهل بهذا الشأن يعني بهذا الجانب. And I am really uh, strongly criticized for this attitude by my friends, by my family. But I truly believe that if we have a certain aim or goal in front of our eyes, we have to do all the sacrifices that it takes. أنا أعتذر لأنه أنا شكرت شكرت رغد وشكرت آمال وشكرت زينب ولم أشكر أنا أو شنو اسمها ما ذكر داني 
Danny, <laughs> I tell them. I apologize for not thanking Danny for her support tonight. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> آه، انتهت كلمتي آه، واحب اختمها بالشكر الكبير yeah. وانه هذا اليوم هو حدث من آه، من من الحدث مهم جدا في ايام حياتي. So at the end of my speech I would like to thank you all for this uh, opportunity and I really consider it a big event in my personal life a turning point. So has that has Ahmed finished, Amal? And to hear to start Ahmed? Yeah. Naam. Yes. Shukran. Shukran jazeeran, Ila. Shukran jazeeran. Barakallah. He he's done this thing. He he what? He is finished. Yes. Yes. Right. But I John is going to finish. I just just say thank you very much. A fantastic talk and a very, very emotional, powerful. شكراً جزيلاً لهذا الحديث الروحي بروحية عالية وكان يحرك المشاعر بالحقيقة أستاذ أحمد. فشكراً لك. شكراً لكم جميعاً. شكراً. أنا اليوم أشعر كأني أشعر بزهو كبير جداً لهذا التكريم الرائع وأصدقائي حاضرين أيضاً بهذا التكريم. آمال حقيقة صوتك إذاعي أنت من الممكن أن تكوني إذاعي ناجحة جدا. Thank you. He is very happy with this event tonight, and also he would like to. He feels proud, especially that his friends are all attending, and this is a great opportunity for him. I love it. Thank you. And well, that's fantastic. So John Bennett is going to say the final words. John. الآن مع الأستاذ جون بنت للكلمات الأخيرة أو الختامية. No, we have no John. We we can't hear you, John. There you are. The yes, yep. phrase unmute. Ahmed, thank you for this um, fascinating description of the crucial work. You have been doing on the marshes. Thank you for you. It is. رائع في حضرتك أستاذ أحمد عن عملك المتميز والمهم جدا في الأهوار. It is an inspiring story. قصتك ملهمة فعلا. And I feel very privileged that I've been able to be part of this in presenting to you the Marsh Marjan Award. وأحس بأنني ممتن أو عفوا محظوظ لأنه الفرصة قد أتيحت لتسليمك هذه الجائزة من قبل جهة مارش مرجان. So I'd like to thank the the Marjan Center for organizing this partnership between the trust and and the center. أود أن أشكر مركز مارجان لعمله وجهده في هذا المجال. يو أمال، I should like to thank for your splendid translation. Is this really the first time you've done it? No, I am a translator. Yeah, I thought you were. Sorry, I thought it was the first time you've done it on the. Danny. Danny. Danny's first time. Danny. Oh, I beg your pardon. Got that confused. Well, no. Well, you did that splendidly and like professional. And Danny has done extremely well too. So my next thanks goes to Danny, to for um organising the the technical side so well. شكرا كبير لداني على إدارتها التقنية والفنية لهذه الليلة بشكل مبدع و. And uh, Jasper, of course, for being the master of ceremonies. And very finally, for the audience out there who have not been part of this, but we hope that you have found this as inspiring as I have. Thank you. Okay. Right. Good. Well, 
I think that's it. Finish. So <laughs> goodbye. Chocolate. <laughs> جميعكم جميعكم ساهم بزرع البسمة في بيت هذه الليلة. All of you have taken part in uh, planting that that beautiful smile in Mr. Ahmed's uh, home this uh, tonight. You did a very good. Smile. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you all. Bye. We will be in touch. We will be in touch anyway. Yeah. We will keep in We will keep in communication. <laughs> okay. Sure, 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 sure. And I say so I want to come and visit Iraq soon. You will Please. come. You will come anytime. You will come anytime. <laughs> <laughs> you will come. Very. <laughs> Thank.